morning class. Good morning, madam. So before we start our class, let us pray first. Okay, sa hala ng Ama, ng Anak, ng Espiritu Santo, Amen. Panginoon, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa iyo sa araw na ito, sa kalakasan na ito, nagkalong po po sa bawat ito sa amin. Panginoon, hinihitin po namin ang inyong kapatawalan at nawa po ay gabayan niyo po ang bawat ang aking mga studyante para po sila ay matuto sa araw na ito. Yun naman po ang aming siyamang panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Okay. Mahalin na kayo mo po. So today, I'm gonna read uh, Ace of Fables. So listen and understand the story so that you can answer my question later on. So, are you ready? Ready. Okay. Mukhang hindi pa kayo ready. So, tumayo, tumayo po tayo naman. So, follow after me, okay? Opo! We are ready to listen. We are ready to listen. Okay? Ready, ready na nga kayo. So, mag type na tayo. Pwede na kayo mag-umuho. So, bago natin simulan yung pagbabasa, Uh, sino sa inyo ang matakita na ng goose? Okay. So, ito yung itsura ng goose. So, matakita na ba kayo lahat? Oo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, how do I be described? Yes, Miss Lynn? We have a white feather. Okay, very good. How about you? It's a red feather. Okay, very good too. Yes? Okay, very good. So now, let's proceed to the concept map. Okay, may I know your ideas? So any one of you can share your ideas. So give me the best describe the goose. Yes, Michelle? We have a white feather. Okay, white feather. Yes, another one. A long neck. A long neck. Uh, how about the egg? Yes, Michelle. The shape of egg is ugly. Okay. Awesome. Okay, another answer. Yes, my goose. Let's start. 
Pawasahin ko yung kwento. Ang gagawin nyo lang ay makikinig at iintindigin nyo kwento para masagutan nyo yung mga tanong ko mamaya. So, once upon a time, in a place far miles away, there resided a poor farmer with his house. They had a little farm where they grow food and vegetables that they that they could feed on. One day, the farmer's wife told him, told him, wouldn't be good if we could have some eggs from time to time. I wish I had we had a goat to lay us eggs daily. The farmer did not have much cash to buy a goat. So he collected some veggies to, and set off to the marketplace to sell all of them and perhaps get a goose in exchange. He returned to the farm later in the day holding a goose. So now, his wife was pleased and couldn't sleep through the night, looking forward to the goose to lay its first egg. Now, we, I have a question for you. Nakinig ba kayo kanina? Oo! Oh. Okay! What is the only thing the couple had where it serves as their source of food and livelihood? Yes, Michelle? A farm. Okay, very good! They had a little farm. Now, the second question, what the farmer's wife wants to buy? Yes, Michelle? Okay, very good! Gusto nyo na pumili na? Goose. Number three, why does his wife want to buy a goose? Yes, in Jehangan. To lay a egg. Okay, very good. The last question, what did the farmer do to buy a goose? Yes, Nico? Okay, very good, class. Nakikinig nga kayo. So, pag-proceed tayo sa kwento. Morning came and the farmer visited the barn to find the egg. The farmer began to dance and sing cheerful. Cheerful tone, so pleased was he. The goose as well started to cackle noisily. Listening to all the sounds, the farmer's wife went rushing to the barn. Look, my dear, said the farmer. See what exactly what the goose laid for us. So, confused ba kayo kung ano yung Ah, uh, it uh, nilay yung goose. Okay, what did the goose lay for the farmer and his wife? Any idea? Meron ba kayong idea? Yes, Mishli? A golden egg. Okay, napakagaling mo, Mishli. A golden egg, announced the wife, clapping her hands. This is a mysterious goose. We could quickly be very rich. The following day was the exact same again, and the following, and the one after that. The goose laid a golden egg daily. Gradually and continuously, the farmer, farmer and his wife were getting richer and richer. So, mag-post ulit tayo. May questions ulit ang isa inyo. What did the goose lay to the farmer and his wife? Ano yung kinitlog niya para sa mag-asawa? Yes, Julia, can you stand up? Oh. Very good, Julia. How many egg, eggs does the goose lay in each day? Yes, Mishli. Okay, very good. Now, let us continue reading. Soon, soon time came when the farmer was, farmer and his wife just simply could not wait for a single, single egg each day. They desired all the eggs right away. Right away. However, there were no eggs inside the goose. Could possibly just lay one egg per day. Unfortunately, now the farmer and his wife had lost the goose. Plus, they would not get any golden egg again. So, naintindihan niyo po ba yung kwento? Oto! Okay, very good. Handa na ba kayo sa mga questions ulit? Oto! Okay. What will you do if you have a goose that laid golden eggs? So, yes, Nico? Okay, ibibenta mo. Anong gagawin mo sa pera? Okay, very good. How about the others? Yes, Michelle? Okay, very good. What can you say about the attitude of the characters display in the story? Yes, Michelle? 
Okay, very good. Number three question. What is the moral lesson? So, what is the moral lesson of the kento? Yes. Very good. Napakadali, Mishli. So, ito yung moral lesson. Too much greed always lead, leads to great loss. <laughs> Meron ako pinihan na mga questions dito para malaman ko kung natut natuto ba kayo sa kwento na binasa ko. Okay lang ba sa inyo yan? Oh. Okay, now, number the sentence 1 to 8 to tell the story. So, number 1, sino gusto sumagot? The farmer wants to call the eggs at once. So, sino gusto sumagot? Yes, Julia? Can you stand up? Anong number siya? Okay. Six. Very good. Okay, how about the number Yung pangalawa, the farmer becomes rich. Sino gusto sumagot? Yes, Riyami? Five. Can you stand up? Five. Okay. Okay, not. Okay, susunod. A poor farmer had a goose. Sino gusto sumagot? Yes, Marcus? Me. Very good. Three. Okay, the next. A farmer cut the tummy of a goose. Yes, Nico? Very good. The wife of the farmer wanted a goose that lays egg. One. Okay, can you stand up? Okay, very good, Francis. Okay, the goose lays a golden egg. Yes, Kimmy Jane. Thank you. 